ओके गाइज सो आई वेलकम यू टू द इंडियाज नंबर वन नंबर वन नंबर वन कोचिंग फॉर गेट एरो स्पेस प्रिपरेशन इन वॉट एवर यूर यू आर आई एडवाइज यू टू गो टू द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स वी हैव ऑल द अरेज प्ले लिस्ट देर गो देर गो थ्रू ऑल द प्ले लिस्ट एंड ज्वाइन अस एट सून एज पॉसिबल वी आर स्टार्टिंग अवर न्यू बैच ऑन फिफ्टींथ फेब of 2022 just after gate exam on 13th feb we have gate exam and on 15th we are starting our new batch so enroll now fast quick let's start the topic actually see i am going to explain some four five very good dynamic effects and dynamic modes you can say they are amazing so like uh, you might have heard about there is something called dutch roll there is something called directional divergence there is something called spin there is something called spiral divergence there is some like all these Uh, topics i am going to explain one by one now see the way i am comfortable with my concepts and i am able to deliver in same way you should be comfortable after watching the video okay there are some few things prerequisite i mean you should know those things in advance before understanding this these topics then only you can be comfortable for example cl alpha curve slope cl alpha curve graph how graph varies with alpha how lift varies with alpha and very important thing you should know very well about static stability and dynamic stability if you are not aware of static stability and dynamic stability then it is going to be a tough job for you to understand all these topics because they are dynamic modes you can understand dynamic modes see either you watch this video as a kind of uh, some uh, okay either you watch anything like okay i'm simply watching the video i don't have to bother about but you know uh, if you want to understand all the dynamic modes there are some prerequisite items you should have detail idea about static stability you should have detail idea about dynamic stability but anyway i will try to convey uh, all the supportive concepts whatever is required to understand all these four five modes now there are some basic modes very very basic modes uh, in directional and lateral stabilities those basic modes we call as cross coupling effect so cross coupling effect is not the uh, uh, business of this video i mean uh, cross coupling effect it 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 will again take time it's nothing like it's like uh, if you are uh, any aircraft cannot uh, go uh, for your alone suppose this is the aircraft coming 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 and aircraft is trying to take turn okay so you see with the help of this rudder when you tilt the rudder like this then uh treating rudder like this then aircraft you can see aircraft will take turn like this this is called yaw you know very well now with the help of aileron here and aileron here i mean here in the back side and here in the back side you will be having aileron with the help of aileron you can turn your uh aircraft like this so suppose you see the front view aircraft is turning like this okay this is called rolling motion and you see the front view again aircraft is turning like this this is not rolling this is yawing right and you see here uh, this portion and this portion okay these two portions they will help you to pitch the aircraft okay pitch down or pitch up they are known as try to guess the name try to guess the name hmm comment so these two will help to pitch up pitch down so actually see Uh, they are static i mean actually i cannot show you here by deflecting them but you get my logic like how pitch up happens pitch up pitch down happens so these are the basic uh, control surfaces uh, what we use for basic controls now there are some more uh, but uh, tab and all no need to go into all those details so uh, let's start this is my aircraft and uh, first i will explain what is directional divergence so see imagine this aircraft is coming like this and it is trying to maintain a particular level from the uh, uh, this suppose this suppose this is a mean sea level and from here it is flying at a particular attitude so this aircraft is uh, going like this uh, maintaining same attitude imagine okay uh, see all those names what i have taken like divergence and di directional divergence spiral divergence spin auto rotation blah blah things so all those things will happen when aircraft is having some kind of instabilities in that or when aircraft is having both the kinds of all kinds of instabilities in that so different different phenomena will happen when aircraft will not having few things or when aircraft will having all the things like that so that's what that that's what say like for example if an aircraft is uh, showing you uh, one kind of phenomena what i have named here it is not necessary that that aircraft will show other phenomena as well like if an aircraft is showing you directional uh, divergence it is not necessary that it will show you spiral divergence also 
okay it will not show you auto rotation blah blah things so actually it depends what kind of uh, stability is there what kind of stability is not there uh, how stability comes into picture it is sometimes it can be a design criteria sometime uh, like um, uh, pilot can give that kind of input to uh, to generate that, that that kind of motion okay I don't know how successful this video will be and how beautiful you will understand. Uh, that's why like, all these dramas, like first time I'm doing. Uh, so uh, one of my students, Suraj, he told me, sir, get an toy, toy aircraft. So guys, now I am owning an aircraft. I'm the owner of Airbus A380 toy. Okay, see here. Very few celebrities are having uh, uh, their jet in India. Now I'm also having, but I'm not celebrity. Go ahead. So we'll start with directional divergence imagine this aircraft is coming at a particular altitude okay so one thing you keep in mind in directional divergence altitude will not change why it will not change let's understand because see when this phenomena will happen so first of all understand what are the criteria to uh, 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 so that this phenomena can occur so first criteria is aircraft should be unstable now when you are saying unstable then you have two types of uh, instabilities static instability and dynamic instability that's what i said you should have all these ideas in the beginning itself otherwise understanding these topics uh, and uh, uh, you should have prerequisite ideas which it will disturb you so now i am saying this aircraft is having this aircraft is statically unstable but directionally so i will repeat this this aircraft is directionally statically unstable so what will happen so because we are bothering only about the directional divergence so when directional divergence happens so we have some criteria first criteria this should be uh, directionally statically unstable okay next thing gust should not hit from any other direction only one direction is possible gust should hit the aircraft such that aircraft will start yaw okay aircraft should start yaw motion get my logic so how gust can hit either gust can hit like this get my logic it, it get my logic it, it should hit like this so that nose can go like this or it can hit from this side so nose can go like this or it can hit tail side so no so tail can go like this i mean that gust which is capable of creating yaw if gust will hit from the nose and nose will go up this will, this is not your right so that's what i said to understand directional divergence you should understand all the criterias which will develop uh, what are capable so first criteria aircraft should be uh, directionally statically unstable one thing is clear now next thing uh, this aircraft should should be uh, uh, gust should be uh, of such nature so that it can develop uh, uh, your motion clear now see yeah, you understand because it is statically unstable so gust is coming and hitting the aircraft so aircraft is turning like this so what will happen when the when the when the aircraft will turn uh, yaw like this because of gust then aircraft cannot come back aircraft cannot come back it's like suppose suppose on the screen you see this is the this is the position now i'm turning it is turning like this okay because of gust so now what will happen this is statically unstable in your I mean that's what I said directionally unstable in your so it cannot come back it cannot come back so what will happen it is turning at the same time bother about engines engines are on so what will happen it is having a forward motion nature also so aircraft will go forward also but at the same time it will keep on turning also it means what if aircraft will start from here so it will do like this like this right actually sometimes i am seeing in the screen sometimes i am seeing on the aircraft so uh, uh, i think i am not able to make proper coordinate because these kind of videos i am making very first time so but but i hope you are able to understand what is directional okay i will try to focus on uh, on aircraft itself i will not change my vision so so that you can be comfortable so you see here uh, I, I hope directional divergence is clear now aircraft is turning like this now you see suppose so, so, so point who is giving this nature in the aircraft why any aircraft will go under directional divergence aircraft will go under directional divergence if aircraft is statically unstable in directional so directional statically unstable aircraft will only show directional divergence now imagine if this aircraft is 
by mistake by design mistake it is uh, directionally unstable now this aircraft is being tested by the pilot suppose uh, in the software also we could not find that this is uh, directionally unstable uh, statically unstable directionally statically unstable in software also we could not figure out and now uh, uh, aircraft prototype ready and now pilot is coming to test this so the test pilot when the it will fly the aircraft when uh, when when pilot will fly the aircraft then what will happen so how pilot will control this so this is what control part okay so actually see if aircraft is unstable or if aircraft is uh, 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 by design it is unstable it does not mean that you cannot control the aircraft you can fly the aircraft you can control the aircraft because you have control surface okay so you know very well how do we control situations of yaw hmm? either intentionally how do we create yaw or if by mistake I mean by gust because of gust if yaw is being created in the aircraft then how will you control that thing so this is what the part we discuss in controllability so that's why uh, flight mechanics name uh, like like flight mechanics especially in three three portions performance part like all the performances you know and to perform the thing you should uh, aircraft is stable or not uh, how much an instability is there those things and once aircraft is stable and unstable those things so how will you control the aircraft so that is the third part controllability okay anyway so uh, okay this part over uh, see this video will go a little long because it is kind of lecture so now see actually if i am having this uh, this model then i can such few more topics are there where i can show you parts like this but if i'll uh, tease this using pen or something it will be somewhat difficult because i don't make videos in softwares okay now you now you uh, uh, understand next part next part is die uh, next part is spiral divergence directional divergence over now is spiral divergence now you see spiral divergence is very good thing in spiral divergence aircraft i mean not good thing aircraft is unstable directionally also and aircraft is unstable uh, 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 oh shit man totally gajni i am being gajni see we have directional axis and laterally i am very sorry laterally so aircraft is actually see guys i don't have habit to see books or see pdf and then then teach i know everything in detail my all concepts are very clear that's what sometimes like it is natural tendency and uh, from last two three years i am forgetting some some kind of word i am not able to recall sometimes in class also so no no problem you don't uh, judge situations based on what the word if i am forgetting no problem so this aircraft is uh, this aircraft if suppose situation one over now situation two if aircraft is uh, directionally statically unstable and laterally statically unstable done directionally statically unstable laterally statically unstable then only this aircraft will not show the first one what was directional uh, divergence now this aircraft will show uh, spiral divergence now get my logic see the difference in both if this aircraft is only directionally unstable sorry i will repeat again if the aircraft is only directionally statically unstable then it will show then it will show directional divergence but if one more instability is there that is in lateral direction so lateral unstable case but lateral static instability so both instabilities are there now aircraft is unstable for both directional also and lateral also in that case this aircraft is going to show you is spiral divergence now let's understand how this spiral divergence looks like and one more thing i will suggest you uh, understand concept from my video and uh, you go you go in google images and s s see all types of images and try to link your uh, uh, whatever you are learning from my visualization uh, that thing you try to link on those images also actually see i can put all those images uh, on this screen but uh, it may go for copyright or it, it takes so much time to edit the video again okay so i will just upload upload the raw video now you see you know earlier long back before uh, four or five years when i used to run offline coaching center then in one video of 30 minutes i used to do three three hours of editing then i realized that time i was very free so i used to do all these things but now now it is very difficult to make one hour of video half an hour of video that's why i don't uh, do editing work directly, directly i upload on youtube come to this point so now what will happen how the spiral divergence will look and how the phenomena will start so again 
वॉट इज द फर्स्ट थिंग यू शुड हैव एयरक्राफ्ट शुड बी डायरेक्शनली स्टेटिकली अनस्टेबल एंड लेटरली स्टेटिकली अनस्टेबल दीज आर द टू प्राइमरी रिक्वायरमेंट देन ओनली यू कैन सी स्पायर डाइवर्जेंस फिनोमिना नाउ नेक्स्ट दिस एयरक्राफ्ट शुड एक्सपीरियंस वॉट काइंड ऑफ गस्ट टू हैव दैट फिनोमिना सो दिस काइंड ऑफ गस्ट सेम गस्ट वॉट वी सॉ इन दैट डाइवर्जेंस डायरेक्शनल डाइवर्जेंस सो नाउ वॉट विल हैपन वेन द गस्ट विल हिट द एयरक्राफ्ट सो एयरक्राफ्ट विल गो फॉर डायरेक्शनल डाइवर्जेंस बट सी यू नो दैट क्रॉस कपलिंग इफेक्ट वेन एवर देर इज योर वेन एवर देर इज योर रोल विल हैपन सेम साइड सो ऑटोमेटिकली बिकॉज ऑफ योर वाई दिस हैपन्स आई विक ऑल दो थिंग्स यू नो बिकॉज नाउ आफ्टर टेन डेज योर एग्जाम सी हेयर इट इज डूइंग योर ओके लेट मी कवर हेयर सी वेन इट विल डू योर ओके देन वॉट विल हैपन इमेजिन दिस इज द सेंटर ऑफ मास एंड इट इज मेकिंग योर सो इट विल मेक योर लाइक दिस सो in a space there will be a uh, there will be a center about that center this aircraft will turn okay so what will happen with respect to this center location of this wing is near and location of this wing is far from here C consider this radius is r1 this radius is r2 so what will happen when aircraft will make yaw so you know v is equal to r omega both the wings are वीजी बोथ बोथ द विंग्स आर टर्निंग एट सेम एंगुलर एंगुलर स्पीड बट बिकॉज रेडियस फॉर दिस विंग इज मोर सो वी इज इक्वल टू आर ओमेगा फॉर्मूला विल गिव यू आइडिया दैट वन मिनट बैटरी इज गोइंग ओके वन मिनट हाँ सो वी इज इक्वल टू आर ओमेगा फॉर्मूला विल गिव यू आइडिया दैट टेंजेंशियल फिलोसिटी फॉर दिस विंग विल बी मोर सो इफ टेंजेंशियल स्पीड इज मोर फॉर दिस देन वॉट विल हैपन लिफ्ट विल बी मोर ऑन दिस दिस विंग ओके सो Uh, about this center in space aircraft is making yaw so on this what will happen lift will be more so uh, and as compared to this this will also be having lift this will also be having lift but this lift will be more so because of that lift will turn the aircraft like this it will it it means it means what this this will go up it means what yaw is happening and because of yaw roll is also happening so now see yaw is also happening so yaw if there is only yaw then it will go for Directional divergence, but because roll is also coming in, coming into picture, so it will roll also. Okay, so yaw also and roll also, yaw also and roll also. So what will happen? Yaw roll, yaw roll, yaw roll, yaw roll like this, yaw roll, yaw roll, yaw roll like this, like that. Okay, so yaw also roll also, yaw also roll also. So this is what is happening. Uh, we are saying is spiral divergence. When is spiral divergence divergence will come into picture? Uh, is spiral divergence will come into picture when you have Uh, both the instabilities static instability in uh, 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 directional unstable directionally unist sorry directional statically unstable laterally statically unstable clear then and gust should be of such nature so that it can develop the yaw clear now we'll go for some something very very special uh, that is known as in what kind of disturbances aircraft will lose height okay this is also very important so do you think in spiral divergence aircraft will lose height do you think in uh, uh, what is called uh, directional divergence aircraft will lose height what is your idea think so directional divergence aircraft will not lose height because in directional divergence only this is a phenomena so lift vector suppose this is the lift 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 vector here uh, upward okay resultant lift vector like this upward so when aircraft is turning lift vector will not turn so the lift whatever we are making that is sufficient to balance the weight weight is downward but what will happen when aircraft will turn suppose aircraft is turning then what will happen the lift vector will turn so there is one one angle so that much lift is responsible to take the aircraft in this direction but the remaining component which is vertically upward the remaining component that component is less than the weight now so aircraft will lose height it means what in spiral divergence aircraft will lose height so now why this video is important because on all these concepts they can ask one mark or two mark mcq or msq objective questions i mean um, one mark or two mark mcq anything they can ask they are important so now we are done with uh, spiral divergence and we are done with uh, 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 directional divergence now we'll go for there is something called dutch roll now you see dutch roll is is exactly opposite of uh, spiral divergence what happens in spiral divergence in spiral divergence uh, both are unstable 
डायरेक्शनली अनस्टेबल एंड डायरेक्शनली स्टेटिकली अनस्टेबल एंड लिटरली स्टेटिकली अनस्टेबल बट इन केस ऑफ डच रोल एक्चुअली डच रोल इज अ मोड लाइक डायरेक्शनल डाइवर्जेंस इज अ मोड स्पायर डाइवर्जेंस इज अ मोड इन सेम वे वॉट एवर टॉपिक्स आई एम टेकिंग दे ऑल आर द मोड्स बिकॉज वी ऑल दीज मोड कम्स बिकॉज ऑफ स्टेबिलिटी स्टेबिलिटी ओके सो इन द थर्ड वन वट आई एम टेकिंग डच रोल इन डच रोल बोथ द मोड्स आर आई मीन एयरक्राफ्ट इज डायरेक्शनली स्टेटिकली स्टेबल स्टेबल एंड लेटरली स्टेटिकली स्टेबल बोथ द थिंग्स आर स्टेबल ओके देन वॉट विल हैपन इमेजिन इमेजिन बोथ आर स्टेबल बोथ आर स्टेबल सो वॉट विल हैपन सो वेन वेन द गस्ट विल हिट वेन द गस्ट विल हिट सो एयरक्राफ्ट बिकॉज इट इज स्टेबल सो बिकॉज ऑफ गस्ट इट विल टर्न बट बिकॉज इट इज स्टेबल सो इट विल कम बैक ओके बट यू नो दैट वेन देर इज योर योर के नॉट हैपन अगेन अलोन रोल विल बी देयर सो वॉट विल हैपन एंड बोथ आर स्टेबल ऑल्सो सो सो ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड सो गस्ट विल हिट एयरक्राफ्ट विल टर्न वेन एयरक्राफ्ट विल टर्न सो अगेन अंडरस्टैंड योर वॉज हैपनिंग करेक्ट your was happening so the center concept in space you have a center so so when when your is happening this lift will go turn but you understand this aircraft is laterally stable also and uh, directionally stable also so what will happen it will go like this so that will also come back and whatever role it has got that will also come back so it will go like this zoom then come back zoom so you see what will happen it will go so nose will curve turn that side so this wing will go up okay then because it is stable so next time while returning this nose will come that side at the same time this wing will also come this side zoom okay so again shik then again like this then again like this i hope i am able to convey my concept okay that's why i have to wear today's my uh, coaching t-shirt concept library so that i have to deliver concept okay now we'll go for so okay dutch roll over again in dutch roll uh, aircraft will lose height or not so i think now you are capable to say that aircraft will lose height why aircraft will lose height because when there will be roll not because of yaw because of roll when there is roll this is what all that i am doing in my test series i twist the question okay and my students sir what a, what was question okay see here uh, it's better i will keep some pin here so that i can show you the lift vector but it's okay there is a lift vector okay there is a lift vector imagine when aircraft will take turn so lift vector will go like this little tilted like this vertical now like this tilted so the tilted lift vector tilted lift vector will make any angle right this angle will will give you a component so this lift vector what is tilted that lift vector is giving you a component here because of this component aircraft will go like this that is that we call responsible for the side slip and when the vertical lift vector i mean vertical component the uh, this this horizontal component you can say cos component and the vertical is sin component so of course sin value is less than 1 so total lift uh, l sin theta l sin phi whatever you say that will be less than uh, l so now uh, the weight what you are balancing downward that weight so that weight will dominate it it will uh, it will be more than the l sign component so that's why the aircraft will lose height in all these phenomena what uh, i am discussing okay so uh, a height aircraft will not lose height only in which which one only in directional divergence because in directional divergence aircraft is not rolling okay so dutch roll over so now see uh, what was the first one first one was aircraft uh, directional divergence then spiral divergence then what is the third one then third one we also discussed as uh, uh, what is the third one dutch roll after dutch roll i will explain auto rotation let's understand what is auto rotation so see guys first of all auto rotation is somewhat difficult to understand if you don't have uh, idea about uh, static stability and dynamic stability properly if you don't have idea about cross coupling effect properly if you don't have idea about cl alpha curve properly if you have idea about this then you continue the video but otherwise you first go and refer for all those things from somewhere that's what i said join me so that i can explain all the things properly in live class or take video course or, or anyway come to this point auto rotation the name itself is giving you some idea but not always there is something called rudder lock but rudder lock is not like rudder got locked it is just opposite rudder is floating so anyway uh, you go for uh, uh, auto rotation what happens in auto rotation see guys actually see this is what comfortably i take class in my live class okay so even this video i am going to upload on youtube so uh, 
it, it, if it is taking time, no problem. Uh, five, ten minutes up and down because I want to be comfortable uh, while conveying the message properly. In in live class, uh, also I don't do in hurry, hurry. Okay, sometimes my uh, like uh, way of speaking can be a little fast, but in concept wise, I don't want to go very fast. Concept should be like slowly, 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 slowly. It should go into your mind. Okay. Now the next part is auto rotation. What happens in auto, auto, auto rotation? See here. Name is giving you idea. Auto rotation. Like automatically rotation. Automatically rotation. When what will happen when aircraft will go under auto rotation? So you have some. Let's see. Suppose this is the aircraft. Now I'm I'm uh, talking about the auto rotation. See in auto rotation, you understand. Uh, imagine from here gust is coming. Uh, from here gust is coming. Okay. So this gust will turn the aircraft. Earlier in in the last three, I took gust condition like this, like yaw to generate yaw. Now I'm taking gust condition like this because in all the conditions we have certain prerequisite ideas. Okay, now let's understand. I don't know, my, maybe my mic is hitting my collar again and again, so you may get some noise. It's okay. See here. Consider this complete aircraft flying very close to stall angle. This complete aircraft is flying very close to stall angle. Stall angle means uh, in CL alpha curve, you go to a particular position where alpha is max, uh, uh, where CL is max. Imagine this aircraft is flying very close to stall angle, very close to stall angle. Now you imagine if if aircraft, if, if from here, like from here, if gust will come, from here the gust will come, gust will turn the aircraft like this. See here, it will turn the aircraft like this, right? So what will happen? This wing will come down. If this wing will come down, then because of upwash on this curve, angle of attack will decrease or increase. Will decrease or increase? That's what I said. You need some prerequisite. You should know downwash, upwash, all those things to understand all these phenomena very well. So for time being, because I'm not going into that, you understand. Uh, already you go to my aerodynamics lectures and something they are they are they are on youtube you go up wash down washed wing tip what blah blah things i have explained already already long back in 2014 2015 i have ex explained them so uh so from here gust will come this gust will turn the aircraft like this so this wing will experience up wash because of up wash uh, angle of attack uh for this wing will increase and if angle of attack for this wing will increase so this wing will stall because aircraft was flying very close to uh, stall angle okay it was flying very close to stall angle it was not at the stall angle aircraft was flying very close to stall angle because guys understand there are the, these are the modes like for example auto rotation is the mode so this mode may not happen in all the aircraft this mode may not happen in the same aircraft this mode will happen if and only if you will create that situation so first make the situation situation is aircraft should fly very close to uh, what should i say uh, angle uh, uh, stall angle aircraft should fly very close to stall angle so then only when gust will hit in this direction you see gust direction also you, you notice gust will hit this so it will turn so it will turn so on this wing up wash up wash because of upwash, uh, this wing will stall. Because why? Alpha will increase. Already this wing was, already aircraft was flying close to stall angle of attack. Right. So now angle of attack because of upwash will increase. So this wing will stall. But this wing will not stall. So then what will happen? This wing is stalling. So lift will decrease here. And this, this wing will not stall. So lift will be better as compared to this. If you see CL curve, then on CL curve, before stall, line is straight and after stall, line is curve, it comes uh, down faster. Okay, so wing which is uh, touching the stall angle, that will lose lift more and this guy will still be having more lift than this lift, than this wing. So, now here lift is more, here lift is less, so differential lift will make rotation. This is what? Auto rotation. Now, what is auto rotation? Understand again. See guys, if anything you are not able to understand, one thing I'm sure I'm not blabbering anything by mistake also. That's why I'm stopping myself whenever uh, 
because see this wing uh, uh, actually oh just a minute light gone yeah okay fine so uh, auto rotation auto rotation means because of gust rotation will start and that rotation because of design criteria that rotation will continue will continue so automatically extra rotation will come this is what auto rotation so now see to understand auto rotation some theories you should understand properly like suppose this this is entire the nose of the aircraft now see first first of all consider an aeroplane flying at particular angle of attack but that angle of attack must be very very close to stall angle now in this condition airplane is subjected to roll if airplane is subjected to roll then in some particular direction you should maintain the roll so you understand that in right side in right side you have done the roll so because of that all that phenomena will happen what i have explained that phenomena will initiate extra roll in the same direction done now question comes uh, can you control this of course we have control surfaces we can control this is it dangerous anything is dangerous if you are not able to control right now see aircraft will lose the height or not of course aircraft will lose the height why aircraft will lose the height same logic right same logic it is turning so lift vector is turning so component component this that this that all the explanations if you are watching this video for your university exam so many things you can whatever i have blabbered in this video all those content you go and put all two two marks questions comes like this right so actually i don't know in your university exams like how are they asking questions but in our aeronautical set of exam amazing brilliant question paper we used to have okay now uh, this auto rotation part over now i'm taking another thing called spin see guys as you know in uh, uh, directional divergence i said whenever there is a yaw it automatically roll will come in same way auto rotation is just the theory in real life you will never see you will never see auto rotation why because in auto rotation whenever rotation will happen because of rotation yaw will come into picture what i said during uh, uh, dire di uh, direction divergence i said if there is a yaw there is a roll because of yaw in same way when there is a roll then because of roll we have yaw now let's understand in which direction you are rolling then in which direction you will draw yaw automatically now this effect will come into picture in auto rotation and that's why auto rotation becomes spin get my logic there is something called auto rotation there is something called spin auto rotation is only theoretical thing in real life you will never see auto rotation why because auto rotation is based on roll whenever there is rolling motion yaw will come automatically and when yaw will come then the auto rotation will make some other kind of motion that rotation that motion i am about to explain here so that is called spin so in a spin also you have two types of spin you have flat spin you have steep spin okay anyway those flat and steep no need to go in all those things it depends like okay come back to uh, spin properly okay i think <clears throat> this will be the last topic spin one spin is done almost done uh, and uh, remaining uh, if already video is of 33 minutes 35 seconds okay go for a spin uh, let's start in this way you consider a roll is coming like uh, gust is hitting like this so if gust is hitting aircraft is turning and when aircraft is turning then get my logic it is rolling so which wing in which direction aircraft will turn aircraft will sorry aircraft will yaw this you have to think that's what i said spin the auto rotation will convert into spin in practical life right so in auto rotation we have assumption that in the beginning itself aircraft should fly very close to stall angle right so if aircraft is flying very close to stall angle so when you will roll like this then down going wing will experience upwash because of upwash it is uh, angle, angle of attack is increasing and losing uh, 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 co co uh losing lift because of stall 
see see you may you may think that i am saying wrong you may think that sir uh, if angle of attack will increase then lift should increase but guys in the beginning itself i said it is very near to the stall so if angle of attack will increase this wing will go stall that's why lift will vanish right but in this part uh, in this uh, wing opposite will happen done clear okay so now you know that because of more already low roll already roll has done so because of roll this wing is maintaining the lift but this wing is not maintaining the lift because of stall so at this wing what will happen you got more lift more lift means more induced drag more lift means more induced drag so imagine the, uh, uh, in my video when i'm shooting the, actually in real life this is my starboard side so if if, if it is rolling starboard side then on this wing what is happening on this wing more induced drag is coming into picture so this more induced drag will take the this wing pull back side okay this this here induced drag is coming so it will pull back side back side so like this it means what aircraft turned like this turning let me hold properly turning like this but nose like this it means turn and yaw get my feel turn and yaw see here in which side is turning turning right side but yawing turning right side but yawing actually one thing i'm uh, demonstrating wrong in my demonstration nose is going up actually it should be like this it should be like rolling okay nose is not being changed and yawing yawing in this side I hope you are understanding. In my diagram, nose, nose, no, no, nose should not go up. It's like this. Rolling, roll done. But at the same time, yaw will come. So yawing. This time, nose is not going up. Okay. Now see. That's all done. That's all done. So it will keep on happening. 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 So this is called spin. Now, as I said, uh, Google so many images so that you can understand. Uh, link my concept with. Uh, all those images so so you can be comfortable and one more thing so many people explains wrong things on internet on quora there are so many people they explain situations wrongly so whatever i explained here trust on this and get better rank in gate exam very good wishes have uh, one more thing is i am forgetting anything let me recall uh, divergence may dono ho gaya directional divergence ho gaya spiral ho gaya dutch rule ho gaya auto rotation ho gaya aur spin ho gayi okay now in a spin we have two more things like steep spin and a very flat spin so it depends like uh, how much disturbed you are how much disturbed not you are aircraft how much disturbance is coming into aircraft and how much highly unstable or stable the aircraft is so th that will make you very uh, uh, flat spin or very